history even to most beekeepers. We've managed to record this rare footage that shows how it is done in real time. This flower must have produced too much pollen for the bee to collect in one attempt, so she chose to hover above it and compact the pellets right in the air by brushing the pollen grains moistened with nectar to the outside of the hind legs. She performs these motions so quickly that they are hard to follow. In a sequence of continuously repeated leg movements, the resulting pollen pellets grow in size but do not fall off thanks to the special hairs on the bee's legs that serve as some kind of a pollen basket. This is how the process of collecting pollen and forming it into the typical pellets looks like. Each time a bee returns to her hive with the new batch, she brings two small pieces of equal size. With one only, or if they were different by mass, it would be more difficult for her to fly. Pollen's size and color allow a knowledgeable person to